you know, we're asked to play a lot of different kinds of music as pianists, as musicians. And sometimes you might be, play, be playing a kind of music where you just got to stick with one thing for a while. You never want to change this, right? You're just trying to do what the songwriter wants. Sometimes we're playing a kind of music where we're expected to add something to the song. We're expected to put some life into it. We're expected to maybe put some emotion to it, add to it. And in those cases, we can add these things we call the heart melter chords around here. There's just these little breaths that happen around one chord. There's the four chord. That's a great heart melter. You could also do the four minor. That's a great heart melter. Another one we use often is the five chord, like a C over F. It's a little movement, just a little breath between the chord. What about the flat seven? E flat over F, right? So we're keeping that root the same. We're adding these little heart melter chords. We're putting our stamp on a song if we're playing the kind of music in which we're expected to. Which is my favorite kind of music, honestly. We're not robots. These are the heart melter chords. Thank you everybody for being here today. My name is Adam Annis. We are gonna do a little bit of a heart melter workout. We're gonna take those four different chords, the chords that we can use to just take a little bit of a break from whatever chord we're playing. And we're gonna take them through all 12 keys. It's about a 12 minute session that we've got queued up here. And we're gonna be working again through all four of those different kinds of chords and we're going to take it through all 12 keys. Get to your piano. Let's play together. Let's work out together here. Uh, before we do that, a couple of housekeeping things. If you love these kind of videos, you might hit the like button. You also might hit the subscribe button because here at Open Studio, we go live all the time. Uh, every other Saturday, we're going live. Also, there's a PDF here in the description. You might just grab that right now. That is yours to take for free so you can practice these on your own. And again, just a reminder, these are the heart melter workout uh, chords that we're working on today. And it is brought to you by Open Studio. Go to openstudiojazz.com because we have a free trial where you can try it for yourself for 14 days. Do not miss that. Okay, here's what is happening today. Here's what we're going to be working on. We're going to be working on what I'm calling the four breaths. So as I set up in that intro, you know, these chords are not part of the song. They're just something that when we're playing a style of music where we're expected to add to things, something live with other musicians where we're helping to form the sort of harmonic landscape as the pianist, these four chords are, I think, invaluable for that task. They just add a little bit of tension and release to what could be a little bit of a monotonous situation, of playing on one chord for a while. Uh, so those four breaths are the four chord, right? So here for an F, it's like a B flat over F. So we're not, we're not changing the root. We're keeping that F on the bottom always. The four minor, like a B flat minor over F. The five chord, like a C or a C7, or even a big, you know, C diminished sound, depending on what kind of music you're playing, how tense you want it to be, all over F. And then finally that flat seven, right? that E flat over F. All of these are super useful in creating our heart melter chords. Okay, let's take a little bit more of a close look at what those all look like. So here are the four breaths in action. And as you can see here, I have it set up for some voicings. Again, you might do this. This might not be in the music, like I said. This is just something that you have. So here, number one, right? We have our four chord over the one, right? Two, three, four, right? Just that B flat over F. Number two, we have the four minor. So a B flat minor over F. It's just, that is heart melting, right? Number three, we have a C triad over F.
It's kind of a Michael McDonald-ish sound, eh? And number four, we have the E flat. This is like a grandiose kind of sound. All right, a little bit of that modal interchange. And the F7 sus here. All right, uh, so those are the four. And again, download the PDF so you can keep track of all these as we go. Okay, so our workout today is gonna start in F. And once we start, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep going until we get through all 12 keys. So we're, first we're gonna do the four over the one, then we're gonna do the four minor over the one, and then we're gonna do the five triad over the one, C over F. Just these little breaths, just these things that happen. And then we're gonna do that flat seven, that E flat over F. And then we're gonna take it up chromatically to G flat, then G, then A flat, then A, then B flat, then B, then C, then D flat, then D, then E flat, then E. And then we'll be done. <laughs> we'll be back at F. And I want you to try to follow me. So I didn't write out any specific voicings here because there might be instances when we're playing through this where we are going to, uh, we're gonna add complexity to our voicings. We're gonna do something a little bit fancier. And there's gonna be times where it's just gonna to stick to really basic triadic inversions. So, are you ready? Shall we go on this journey? Shall we begin our session? We've got 12 minutes queued up, and once we start, we are not stopping. So you might take a big stretch, you might take a big deep breath here. Because <sighs> we are going here. You ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Here's our first one, four. Just on beat four, just that little breath. Again, I'm just doing some basic triads to start. Here's a B flat minor. Let's do that again. We're gonna do all of these twice. Here's our five triad in C. Again, F is always in the bass, right? Let's do that again. Now we have our flat seven here, our flat seven. It's an E flat triad, any inversion you like. How about G flat? Our C flat triad over G flat also known as B major, try it. Let's do a B flat minor, eh? Four minor, or sorry, a C flat minor. Let's do that five triad. So I told you, this is a very basic practice here, but the power comes in doing this in all 12 keys. All right, here's our flat seven triad, our F flat or E natural. These work in pretty much any situation. How about a little G? Imagine you're comping for like a singer songwriter. You just have a long vamp over a G. Something you can throw in, as long as it's not gonna clash with anybody else, it's all good. C minor. How about a D here? How about a big D7 this time? with the flat nine this time. That's very tense, I love that one. Here's the F, that flat seven. This is the four there. Let's go to A, flat. Lance says, okay to arpeggiate the breath chord, yeah. The breath chord, any of these chords, okay to make it however you make it. You might change the groove up here as we get deeper into this. There was that four chord. How about the four minor, D flat minor? 
How great is that? It's very Beatles-esque. Five chord over A flat. It's just a little breath. It's just a little movement, right? It doesn't have to be this big event. How about the G flat? This doesn't have to be in the chord changes either. This is your decision, and it's a good decision. By the way, our beat today, provided by Drum Genius, is the uh, beat to let it be, the Ringo Starr beat. Four minor here, speaking of the Beatles. Oh. How about the five? about that major chord just a whole step down that flat seven G you might put extensions on these in fact we're about to go to the key of B flat let's start putting some extensions so maybe it's like a B flat major seven we'll do an E flat major seven too it's the most Bacharachish Burt Bacharach style hey Let's do the four minor here, E flat minor, putting a bunch of like, you know, jazzy extensions. That's really nice. Great composition tool too. So let's do our F with like a big F dominant seven flat nine thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe a sharp 11. For our A flat, let's do like an A flat seven sus here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key of B. I'm gonna go back to triads. B's too pretty of a key to put extensions on. See if you can just hang out in this groove with Ringo here. This beat breathes for sure. It swings a little bit. Can you lock in? Here's the five. Here's that flat seven, the A major triad. Key of C. A. Here's the F. Is that F minor? the G. Just using that five. And again, these don't need to be in the music. If you're playing a style of music where you're expected to add something to the picture, these are super valuable as tools to add. Here we go, heading to the key of D flat. We're over halfway done. Taking this through all 12 keys is the practice, right? What we're doing itself is not that complicated. It's very simple, actually. But being able to do this in all 12 keys is something that uh, is a skill that is necessary for sure, in my opinion. Here's our five chord, our five triad, A flat. Hmm. 
again, it's like Michael McDonald-ish, Journey-ish. That sound. Christopher Cross, that whole thing. C flat, what? Key of D flat. Sorry, D. D major. You could put some uh, melodic material here on the heart melters, right? On these little breath chords. As a fill. How about over this G minor over D? It's also a good option is to fill using melody. A over D. A. Here we're heading to the key of E flat. Two more keys. Two more keys. about the four minor how about the five flat seven major, that D flat, you got it. Last key, the key of E, we did it. minor Here's that 5 triad Last one that flat 7 D triad over E We're back to F, where we started. Let's do a little free play here. How about the four? How about the five? How about back to the four? How about the five, but with a bunch of extensions, the 13, the flat nine, How about with the tonic diminished, F diminished? Ooh. What about E major? Here's another one, E major. Spacey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about G major, airy? Lydian sound, also an option. How about G flat major? Seven. G flat major seven, let's do that again. Good. See, these are all good. These are heart melters. And that's it. Thank you, folks, for your work today. As you can hear, these are incredibly, insanely fun to play. They are so useful. Again, if you're playing music where you're expected to add something to the picture, this is the first thing that I would add are these chords between the chords. If you have one chord for one long time, you can just add 
a bit of tension and release. And it doesn't have to be prescribed. It can just be thought up in the moment. But these four breaths, right? The four, the four minor, the five, and that flat seven major. To me, those are my go-tos when I think about what I, what I hear other great pianists that I love doing. It's those four first and foremost. Thank you so much for your work today. I will be back in two weeks for another live session. Until then, happy practicing.